Hello YouTube, let's turn your machine into MySQL server. Type download MySQL installer in Google and go to your the first result, probably. In, in my case, this is the first result. So here you will be presented with two options. The first one is to grab MSI installer, smaller one, which will grab additional stuff from internet. And bigger version is something that will obviously demand a little bit more time to download. Now, don't worry, because uh, here we have 32-bit version. This is just installer. This is not full server yet. OK, so my assumption is that you have already done this. So I actually have that application on my desktop. So let's double click it and probably I will cut this video a couple of times to save you a little bit of time. So let's see what's up. OK, so it's asking me, do I want to allow changes on this device? Yes. It will ask me one more time, I think. Just see what's happening. OK, it's asking me again. Yes. And now we need to do a little bit of configuration and waiting. Right. So here's the thing. Uh, don't worry about developer default uh, setup here. This is just a lot of stuff to be installed at the first spot for beginners. Go with the server only and forget about full and the custom. And don't worry about client only. You will have client when you install server. So server only will get the job done for most of us. OK, so next. And here I have uh, already a couple of um, installations on my system. So this is the reason why I have warning here. So I'm just going to change directory here for this installation. OK. And now I will install in this folder. So in your case, you will probably be fine with default path. OK. So, yep, architecture here is 64 bit. Uh, next, ready to install. Don't forget to click on execute and show details to see the progress. OK, so we are complete. Let's go to next. Now, ready to configure. We need to do that configuration. Now, forget about InnoDB cluster. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. Just we need st standalone, st sorry, standalone MySQL server, classic, classic version, a classic installation by default. So next and development computer. Sure, ch choose this option. Don't choose server computer here. OK, in this part of, of configuration, because that means that this computer will be just used as a server. Uh, either for MySQL, which is option down there, only for MySQL, dedicated machine, or for example, you can have web server on the same machine, uh, FTP server, email server, something like that. In our case, because we are programmers, we're going to be happy with development computer, because in my case, this is my development computer. Now, all these things here, leave those things alone. Uh, we need this stuff. We need to open firewall uh, here port for network access. So so that's cool. Uh, don't change change default ports if you don't have uh, any kind of other applications running on that port. And generally, everything is fine here by default. We don't need advanced and logging options right now. So next, uh, go with a strong password encryption, which is recommended and default stuff. And forget about legacy authentication methods. So here we're going to define MySQL root password. OK, guys, don't forget this password. Uh, you know, some people say don't write password on a piece of paper. Uh, it depends how you set your security generally. Maybe it's a good idea to write it somewhere and put it into safe place. So I've, I'm not one of those people who will say don't write your passwords, but please keep them somewhere in a, in a safe uh, like a metal box and lock it down somewhere in the in the house. I don't know what you're doing, but yeah. So let's go with the one, two, three, four, five, which is ultra secure password. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, I know it's weak. Who cares? This is development uh, testing machine right now. So down there we can um, create users like uh, with different roles, but they will not be so strong as a root password. OK, root user. 
check this out. If you go to add user, you can choose roles. Uh, you can have backup administrators, uh, DB managers, sys security administrators, and so on. So I'm gonna skip this for now. I don't wanna put a lot of pressure on you guys. Uh, because we are practicing, you're probably doing some kind of CMS here with PHP or Python. You, you will be fine with the root password because this will be probably throwaway system. So, yep, next. Now we wanna configure this application as a service in Windows because we wanna start the server when we um, power on our machine. So check check this place. Start the MySQL server at system startup. That's cool. And when you have this checked, then that means you will see your application in the listing of Windows services. So you can um, start it automatically, manually, stop it, uh, and observe generally what's happening. So run Windows service as standard system account that you're using right now. That's cool. So let's go to next. And here we need to go through all these steps. So click on execute. Okay, we are done. So let's click finish and configuration complete. Next, we don't need uh, to see stuff uh, in a log. So finish. And yep, that's pretty much it. So let's start uh, how our server works. Go to your start menu, go to MySQL command line client, uh, not Unicode, for most of us normal client will get the job done. So let's click here and the password is one, two, three, four, five, enter, and we are in. So if you don't like font, just go to right click in properties, and then I think go to uh, here and choose 20 or 24, whatever. Yeah, whatever. So we are in server in any case. Um, now, if you type help, you will get uh, what kind of actions you can have but let's just see let's list the default databases in our server with the show databases and there you go everything works if you want to get into mysql um, database this is database okay you can type use mysql first you need to basically activate it and then you can just say select all from or sh sorry show tables and there you go but everything works that's that's the major stuff here so if you want to get out you can type quit and that's pretty much it so that's it guys very short tutorial don't worry about uh, um, mysql server once when you install it when when it's ready it will work for decades i really like this mysql stuff and in generally um i like more messing around with uh, databases than in general with with web programming and desktop programming because once when you uh, replicate your business logic in mysql database that's one almost 100 percent job done and front end back end that's really not important what is important for making money is nicely construct database that need to reside in a very nice server in this case mysql server anyway enough rambling i'm gonna shut up as always thank you for watching for support and subscription and see you next tutorial